Oh, Debian, Debian, <laughs> whatever the proper pronunciation is. I have it back in a virtual machine now. I had it on my machine for a, a time. I've had it on sporadically on my diff couple, well, at least this one, more than once back when it was Wheezy and now when it's Jesse and always something would happen, something. Mainly it's because of me. Maybe it's because, uh, mainly it's because I feel like I have to have something that I can't get through Debian that I knew that I could get on Ubuntu. And I'm not, and that, that's, so then what I, last, well, I'll tell you, I don't remember the other times, but this last time it's because I decided that I had to try testing, which worked out well for a long time, but I still couldn't get certain things to work. Oddly enough, some of the things that didn't work look like they now do work even on stable. So if I would have just, you know, sat there and waited long enough, they would have fixed the problems for me. So, you know, that's on me. They say Debian is as stable as it can get. And I guess if you don't mess with it and leave it alone and just use it, it do normal and even more than normal developer computer stuff. It's only when you're trying to uh, overthink it, over tweak it. When you feel like you have to run a back port or, you know, all these sorts of things. And then finally, what really messed it up for me is I tried to run Sid. Well, <laughs> I don't want to get into that. And I'm sure Sid's perfectly fine, but it didn't, it didn't work out for me. So here it is again on my, and this is the LDXC, which I like this. This desktop is in some ways, I mean, it's hard to say. It's everyone's preference. I like XFCE the best, I thought. But after playing around with this some more, I think, I, I think I'm a fan of LX, yeah, LXDE. I think that's what it says. You, everything's in here. And I was going to add some more programs to see if um, maybe I'll do that. No, I'm not going to do that test now. One thing that never worked on Debian before, and maybe I'll make a video and report back if it does now, now that I can have this virtual machine, is the program called Mix. It's like a DJ sort of live, sort of so you can mix mu music or recorded pieces with, uh, you know, right from the microphone pieces together very easily without having to do a lot of uh, editing and, and this sort of thing. A DJ type thing it is. Well, it didn't work on Debian, used to not, and it didn't even work on testing. Um, I'll show you one that didn't work before, that now does. Well, the more I'm sitting here, the more I'm thinking I want to, this is called Tupi, and um, you know, it didn't even work before, but now, now it seems to. And we'll just do like this, it'll come up, and you can see, you can, do that you can go to the next frame and you can make um you know you can well i'll show you. you just play your cartoon you know and you can save it uh you can save it as different file types i usually save it as um an ogv more often than not webm maybe i don't know but those are two that i think you can save it so there you go and it'll ask me if i want to discard yeah and now it works Oh, but I can't keep going back and forth because it's too hard to keep. I mean, I have other computers I might put other things in. I got to upgrade some anyway rather than upgrade. I might end up putting, um, I got to get the 32-bit for one and the 64 for another and, and do that instead of upgrading to the 16. I have 16 on this. What we're looking at the virtual machine is Ubuntu 16.4 I'm talking about I have on this. Ubuntu Studio, though somewhat different and I for what I use it for for me it works better because all the software that I need I don't have to go and install and it has the XFCE desktop on it but I don't know yes Debian but always something happens with the two of us myself and Debian <laughs> anyway that's a, that's enough for that, I guess. Thank you.